and somehow is not getting these to smack out. That is actually so tough. Uh, there we go, though. Use the uh, Trey Leaner to get open in the corner and finally smack it out there. Yes, Luca, uh, at least on the Mystic. And I think his invin new Invincible as well have the Trey Leaner, which is definitely a uh, Dark Matter Mystic Luca. He did get an upgrade. Now, we can't quite tell what it is, but he's still a 6'7 PG, 6'8 Wingspan. And now he actually has the Luca Dantage Jumper on very quick instead of jump shot 67 on the normal timing with the big dribble style he does have the quick dribble style now and he actually has the tray fade scotty behind the back now i'm not exactly sure what the size up the combo the escape package and all that sort of stuff are but i can confidently say this mystic luca tied with the new invincible luca are now two of the top two pgs in the entire game and on next gen are better than either end game luca that you can pick up right now absolutely insane so if you're excited, hit that like button down below, comment what you guys think. But before we fully check out the stats and badges, a message from the sponsor of today's video. If you need level 40, unlimited, limited, clutch time, domination, triple threat, or anything else on your 2K account, grind it, contact Rose NBA on Twitter, and let them know X sent you. All right, now we can flip over Luka. Check out, again, the 99 offensive defense, 6'7", 230, just an absolute beast. And I mean, look at this, A-plus in literally everything. This Mystic Luka is almost identical to the Invincible. 93s in the fade and the hook, 98 midi, 98 three-point shot, 98 free throw, 80 standing, 90 driving dunk, has the MJ dunking package now as well, which is unreal. I mean, you're going to see Luca throwing out cradle dunks like it's nothing, has the uh, 98 ball handle and absolutely beautiful playmaking, as you would expect on a Luca. who thinks he's got crazy playmaking and an unguardable jumper, has a 92 block, a 96 steal, 97 perimeter, and a 94 interior defense, 95 on both rebounding, and 97 speed, speed ball, and acceleration, 92 strength, much better than the my team anniversary, like by a lot, I think 78 compared to 92 definitely a big difference have a 96 lateral quickness pretty good and everything else besides the shot iq which is a 50 for some reason uh defensive tendencies should be beautiful and they are 100 pass interception on ball steal contestant on block shot zero foul zero hard foul zero take charge and we have 60 hall of fame back 20 more than the my team anniversary and i think actually only five less than the invincible which is pretty uh damn good i think the only differences are like honestly extremely minuscule for being honest the badges that he's missing are like Brace under pressure, teardropper, lucky number seven, fade ace, and like post playmaker. So like not a huge deal. Uh, but the badge that he does have, catch and shoot, corner, difficult shots, fearless, acrobat, post spin, ankle breaker, hyper drive, glue hands, dimer, pickpocket, pick dodger, and clamps, quick chain, interceptor, and intimidator, post riser, rebound chaser, post move lockdown, mismatch, expert blinder, circus threes, limitless spot of chef, giant slayer, slithery, bailout, downhill, handles for days, needle thudder, quick first step, stop and go, tight handles, unpluckable, dead eye. Sniper, Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter, Bullet Passer, Ankle Braces, Limitless Takeoff, Floor General, Fast Twitch, Menace, Triple Threat Juke, Bull Shipper, and Hustle. Some crazy good badges. Then we have uh, 14 gold just to help out. For total of 74 badges. Uh, brick Wall, Drop Stepper, Box, Defensive Leader, Back Down Punisher, Lucky Number 7, Pro Touch, Spouse Delivery, Crash Under Pressure. Just some nice ones. Uh, we are missing a few badges. Rim Protector, definitely one that I would recommend. And the rest, it's kind of just like, yeah, you can add it if you want to. It's not a huge deal. Uh, but, you know, they can't help. All around, in my opinion, this Luka is definitely the best you should pick up. He went from being a card that was like worth 10k to a card that's now easily worth over 200, especially on next gen. He's the most unguardable card in the entire game, and in my opinion, is equal to the Invincible and better than both the end games. So without further ado, let's hop into the gameplay with Dark Matter, Mystic, Luka Doncic. All right, Devin Booker <laughs> and um, Isaiah Thomas, Elder Bailey, Stephen Adams, and Lamarcus Aldridge. This guy's definitely new to the game. And it, it's not fair because we're giving him one of the best PG, a top two PG in the game. And honestly, he's the only PG above him is the Invincible Luka. And he's got to go against that with this Isaiah Thomas. Look at this. Kareem does not let anybody get boards. And he's got Steven Adams trying to full court press us, which is just interesting. Four out, one active. And we'll show you why Luka is just unguardable. Snatch back and oop. If you don't, early time the jumpers. Uh, that is a guaranteed a bucket every single time nearly. But We'll just we'll lock up this Isaiah Thomas real quick and try to get a bucket. Oh, oh, he's fading to the corner. Okay, IT swinging around. Look at that. Beautiful. Kareem boards. Pass it back to the main man, Luka Doncic, who now has uh, Devin Booker on him. And boom, low hop. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I got to focus up a little bit. Luka breaking out some shots that he definitely shouldn't be, uh, but is playing some good defense right there. Kareem getting his third board of the game and there we go boom walk it out and green for luca that's exactly what you're going to be experiencing you cannot run it against as luca Doncic. it's just it's not possible 
There we go. Kareem board number four. Luca is out there <laughs> and it's green. The easiest catch and shoot shot of your life with Luca Doncic at the four point line. Two jumpers that just never miss out at the four point. Luca and jump shot 49. Look at that. Taco is getting the boards for us. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Scotty behind the back. Oh, yeah. Coming in clutch. Boom. Dead eye. Uh, oh, it's, it's not coming in quite so clutch. That was actually probably blinders. But he is out here. He is running and he's trying to use Elgin Baylor against Taco. I just, at this point, feel bad for him. All right, let's get Luca with the ball wearing his uh, beautiful blue uh, wrist or <laughs> arm sleeve. And boom, just run around that. Nice and easy green for Luca. Another four pointer. Dude's got what? Three this game? Or no, only two this game. Uh, just having himself an absolute time. The blinders, the dead eye, the Luca jumper, everything just combining beautifully. If you wanted the uh, old invincible Luca, you got it right here with this mystic version i got mine for like 100k and he is just as you can see an absolute beast a little snatch back to get wide open and smack that out 14 points and isaiah thomas is just stumbling trying to find a way to play defense on him look at the guys playing the beautiful defense give it to tracy mcgrady to let him run the ball for a little bit boom give it back to luca and oh my it, he was gonna be so open a very late it easy catch and shoot again and 17 points for luca that right there is a perfect example of why you don't want to run a 6-1 guy against Luka. Impossible to get that. So let's hop into game number two and I uh, hope it's a little bit closer. Okay, okay. I like this. Luka and Jokic. Okay, good. Good little uh, dynamic deal right there. The guards with <laughs> Luka, Will, Giannis, and Taco. All right, so we definitely have uh, some good competition. I'll say that we're loading up against two right here. Taco and... <laughs> Kareem both looking like idiots jumping up and literally not smacking the ball in the slightest. Throwing up again. Boom. There we go. Get it. Throw it back to Luca and we'll uh ah, we'll wait to put the freelance on. Why do it right now? And oh, Kareem, wide open, maybe? Catch it, shoot it. Bow. Miss it. Okay, that's not <laughs> the way uh that we are trying to start the game right here. As uh these guys are gonna go crazy. Just gotta make sure we guard these two Luca base guards that he's got. All right, throw this four out one active on Luca just to make sure that he's having himself at time. And oh, why aren't you guarding him? Uh, maybe because we're shooting it from way too deep. Good board on Kareem though, and T Mac don't miss those. <laughs> nice and easy catch and shoot. He's got three, and Luca's having himself a good time as well. Oh, there we go. Kareem blocking it. Not expecting him to actually get that. And let's pass it to Luca. Easy catch and shoot, even with Jokic. That's a hard shot to pass, especially on the break. Just give it to Luca in the corner, and it's going. There we go. Luca stopping Jokic at least a little bit. And now he's running out himself. Gotta watch it. That's an easy three. And it's smacking out six points for Luca. The guy is unstoppable. All right. This is turning into a Luca versus Luca battle. It feels so good to be able to use a Luca card again. And ooh, ooh, ooh. Good contest on that one. Actually, I, I honestly still thought I had a chance of hitting that. Uh, but his Luca wide open from the four pointer. Yep. <laughs> yep. We are going uh, full on Luca versus Luca battle. And if I'm going to be honest, it's actually uh, kind of fun uh, to have one of these. And boom, our Luka just cooking it up, snapping Jokic's ankles and put it up. This card is just so good. All right, we're calling in Kareem's reinforcements. And boom, Jokic again is just getting his ankles destroyed. Another four-pointer for Luka. He's got 13 points. I mean, it's just, it's actually unfair. There we go. We are both only shooting it with Luka, so it's kind of easy to see who's shooting it next. And Luka, a little fade right there and somehow is not getting these to smack out that is actually so tough uh there we go though use the uh Trey leaner to get open in the corner and finally smack it out there yes luca uh, at least on the mystic and i think his invin new invincible as well have the Trey leaner which is definitely a uh, big upgrade for them making them look great and just look at luca playing great defense even on any game Jokic, if you go up against uh somebody that's using them ooh, that should have been a shot for us and uh we'll just Hop through there, boom, get behind him, and nice and easy, Mitty. 18 points. Luca having himself a game. He's going on timeouts. But once you get a lead and you got Luca on your team, you basically just trade buckets and get the dub. Oh, he's full court pressing with Jokic. Bad idea. I mean, ooh, ooh, letting Luca just get that open. Uh, but we actually don't capitalize on it very well. And the Trey leaner again, just looking beautiful. Just as good, honestly, as the normal leaner. Getting him a number three and getting him 21 points. I've never used a card that is such a guaranteed bucket like this Luka Doncic is. And look at him even soaring up, getting boards against seven foot centers like this. Ooh, where are we going? And uh, I guess I'll whip the pass into the Trey Burke base and get the green right there. Luca can pass it and you might as well showcase it too. The guy's got the mic on now. He is uh, not too happy with how this game's going. 
There we go. Kareem. Ooh, ooh. Kareem with the board and then uh, just dropping the, the ball for some reason. Way too deep for Jokic, even end game one. That's not going to be falling for him right there. And now we got <laughs> Luka and Jokic going up against each other. Uh, I'm trying my darndest to make Luka work. Catch and shoot right there with a sharp take. Good board right there. Try it again. Why don't you? It's green. 24 points. I, yeah, it's just not working out. 14 point lead. And our man's uh, not too happy on a mic here. Oh, and there's our second quit. So, uh, previously in my Mighty Anniversary gameplay with Luca, I was talking about how it's not worth it to get anybody but the anniversary. But now that they've actually updated uh, the animations and now the Mystic Luca is looking at just as good as he should. With the Luka jumper, the quick dribble style now, the Scotty behind the back has the Trey Leaner, the long athlete, Michael Jordan's dunking animations and all the basic dunking that you want. He's definitely the PG to pick up. Um, you can't pick up the Invincible, but the Mystic is just as good. Now a top two PG in the game. Just an all-around absolute beast. Pick him up. Try him out. You will not regret it. The dude is just an absolute animal. So uh, let me know what you guys think about him down below. Check out the Mighty Man of Virtue and Luka as well. Obviously, you should be picking up the Mystic if you have any sort of MT that you can. Got mine for 100k. I expect that hopefully he's a little bit cheaper and most people can get him for less than 100k because that would be dope. But if I'm being honest, if you're on next gen, do not pick up the end game. Uh, Lucas, you don't want set shot 25. You don't want jump shot three. You want the Luca Johnson's jumper on next gen. It is unguardable. Uh, let me know what you guys think about them down in the comments, all that wonderful stuff. And I will see you in the next like, subscribe video.